Welcome back to another episode of Journey with the Josies. In an earlier episode, we took advantage of our membership with Harvest Host to stay for free at some local Lodi wineries. We had such a good time during that February visit, we decided to head to that region again, but this time with Christine for a two-day tasting trip. The first winery that we went to on our two-day trip was Heritage Oak Winery in the town of Acampo, Lodi. It's about 45 minutes north of us, and on the way there, we stopped at Michael David Winery, which we're actually members at, to grab lunch before setting up for the day to enjoy some wine tasting, a walk on part of their property, and dinner in the RV. Oak Winery sits on 106 acres along the banks of the McQualamy River. It had plenty of space to accommodate our RV. The tasting menu at Heritage Oak was kind of unique. They grouped all their tastings into different flights. They had like six different flights with five or six different wines inside of each flight so you could pick a flight of just reds or just whites or sparkly um, and uh, taste it that way rather than going from the whites to the reds all in one flight. It was just a few bucks per tasting so we each got a different flight so it was nice because we could all share them and with COVID they gave, they gave you each one in a little plastic tube or glass tube and we were able to just pour it and go at our own leisure. And although I love getting the tasting notes from the winery um, workers, which she did do at the beginning, it was also nice to just enjoy our time to get together and take it at our own pace. So an added benefit is that there was a pathway that we could hike down to the shores of the river it was about a half mile hike, and we did that after we wine tasted, and that was a lot of fun. I ended up even running it the next morning, and it was just beautiful. No one on it, and getting down to the river in the morning, and just having that nice trail um, path to follow. I really liked the uh, their area there at Heritage Oak because it was so secluded and it being a middle of the week we pretty much had the whole place to ourselves and it was just so peaceful and relaxing. I would agree the sunset there was beautiful and I enjoyed that we were sitting right in the vineyard it was kind of an experience that I don't feel like many people get to sleep in a vineyard like that. We settled into preparing some salmon for dinner. Put some lemon slices underneath, and then the salmon fillets on top. We're going to put some sea salt uh, on each one. And some pepper. And some garlic that we chopped up. Put the salt, pepper, and garlic on the other side as well. And then we will squeeze lemon across the top. And then we'll seal it all up and do a barbecue. After a relaxing next morning, we headed off around lunchtime, about 30 minutes south, to our next harvest host, which was Van Ruten Winery. Van Ruten sits just east of Interstate 5 along Highway 12. It had an ample parking lot 
but I must say that it was a much noisier than our first winery because of the cars rushing by on Highway 12. Although later in the evening, it did settle down and was more peaceful. We had a nice selection of wines and we each had the ability to get a little creative in what we picked. And the customer service was very good out on the patio. So you are just literally one, two, three, four, and five on the back. So that night, Stu barbecued some chicken sausages that we chopped up and cooked with some orzo and feta cheese and vegetables, and we had a side salad. As we prepared dinner that night, we were able to watch opening night of the Giants baseball outside on the TV. And then after we ate dinner, we went over to the patio that we had previously wine tasted on that day and the owners let us turn the lights on and actually just hang out on their patio um, that night. It was a great two day trip. It was my first time getting to go and I had the, I was fortunate to have Wednesday off which is kind of why we planned the trip but then we added on Thursday and I was able to work from the rig for the first time which was fun to be able to work all day and then head out for some wine tasting and enjoy the evening out in the vineyard. It makes working not so hard those days. We feel really fortunate being a part of this Harvest Host program and lucky for us we have a region 45 minutes away with a bunch of participating vineyards and wineries. Thank you for watching this video and we really look forward to sharing our next episode where we spend two weeks up in Idaho seeing some amazing scenery.